and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to paint a tabletop version of Marvel Crisis Protocol's Yellow Taxi. It's going to be quick and dirty. Uh, it's a terrain piece, so we're not going to invest a lot of time on this. And as I always say, get it on the table. So uh, we got a lot of projects to do and we have a lot of dice to roll. So let's do this quick tutorial and uh, hopefully you enjoy. All right, we started off by priming the model. Uh, went for a black primer with a uh, white panel highlighting. It's not that realistic, but it really gives a pop on the table. And since we're using yellow for this cabbie, um, I really wanted it to shine. Um, the goal of this uh, model is to get it done quickly. Uh, like I always say, get it on the table. You know, we're on the time crunch. This is just terrain, so you don't have to be that specific about it. Um, the, Anyone watching you is not really going to be paying attention to the terrain. They're going to be paying attention to the uh, pretty models that are throwing this terrain around. So uh, the goal for this tutorial is to get it done within 30 minutes. I think it's going to take me a little bit longer since I'm recording, but uh, let's see how we do it. This isn't the normal um, recipe I use for my yellows. I normally go off with like this uh, orange color. Uh, but like I said, I'm trying to do this real quick. Um, it's going to be... We, we're going to rely on the uh, pre-shading to give a lot of the, the, the color. So this is going to be the first base and then we're just going to do one more highlight after this to give us the yellow look for the taxi. Alright, we're just aiming to get some nice even coverage. Um, really messy at this point it's okay like i said this is just terrain that doesn't have to be that precise we're just trying to get it on the table um we're aiming for good enough <laughs> with so much terrain we need to do um uh, for me in particular i like to run events tournaments so i have a lot of terrain i need to do and i also have a lot of terrain for my clients uh, since i do commission painting so for this um just trying to get it get it done Get it done. All right, so it looks pretty good so far. As you can tell with the pre-shading, it already has the highlights in front of us. There's no guesswork. Once we come with the next color, we already know what we're gonna do. All right, highlighting time. Now we're gonna go with another Citadel color, Flash Gits. And as I said before, since we did the pre-shading, I already know exactly what we're gonna highlight. Um, just gonna go for it. Uh, Flash Gits is a really, really light color. So it's really gonna pop on the table. Um, I like how it came out. Like I said before, my normal recipe, I probably have more of a transitional color, like mix, mixing the Flash Gits with the Everlyn Sunset to straight Flash Gits. But for this, you know, we just wanted to pop, we wanted to look good, and we want to be quick about it. Um, if you've got five cars to do in the night, you know, spending an hour on one car, it just isn't feasible, especially if it's just going to get thrown by the Hulk or uh, destroyed by Magneto. We're just trying to get this done.
All right, next we're gonna take uh, Citadel's Abaddon Black and we're just gonna do some detail work. Um, gonna go ahead and get the tires, gonna get uh, some of the trim on the car, um, just little details like that, knock it out of the way. Nothing fancy about this. I actually do the front trim of this car and uh, after I finish it, I did not like it at all. So <laughs> I end up going back with the uh, airbrush and redoing this yellow. Um, you know, that's the joy of painting. You can always go back and correct what you don't like. Uh, nothing set in stone. You can always fix it later or keep it that way. I just didn't like the way it, it, it sit with me, so you know, I corrected it. So I wasted a little bit of time, but we're still going to get it on the table. It's going to happen. Okay, so this is what the car is looking like right now. Um, decided to go ahead and do the windows, um, and I used the Citadel's Rust Gray, uh, super, super light blue, uh, usually used for Space Wars and stuff like that. Um, instead of using the normal color, uh, I used the airbrush, so I had to go a couple different layers to get it done, but eh, that's okay. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're trying to get it, get it on the table. Okay, um, I went ahead and painted all the windows and also used rat skin flesh for uh, the headlights and uh, the brake lights uh, just to break it up. Nice orange color. Also the little lights on the side, I did that. Next we're going to go with a lead belcher uh, for all of the metallic areas. Um, great color, great coverage. Um, and uh, as someone who plays 40K, you know, I used a lot of lead belcher. There's metal, metal everywhere.
Next up, just some detail work. I took my piston red and uh, did the taxi back and front on the side. All right, we're going to bring out the airbrush one more time, and we're going to use Fenrisian Gray to give a final highlight on the window areas. Um, it's going to look really nice with this and pretty simple application. Like I said, uh, this is terrain, but it's going to look nice with minimum effort. is looking real good so far and uh, I think the last thing we're gonna do is uh, the hobby cheat code we're gonna bring out Nolan oil and we're just gonna wash down the black areas the uh, metallic areas just pretty simple thing uh, not putting a lot of uh, work into it just gonna wash it down simple and there we go
And the last step, I went ahead and hit it with a uh, matte varnish uh, to seal in the details. And if I want to go back and change anything, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Like I said, it was just pretty simple uh, painting of uh, Atomic Mass Games Marvel Crisis Protocol terrain. Um, got this taxi done in probably 35 minutes. You can probably shave off another 10 minutes of that. Um, it's pretty simple. Anyone can do it. Um, and painting yellow isn't that bad, especially if you have an airbrush. As you see, I only used pre-shading, a base color, and one highlight to give a pretty nice effect on um, a simple vehicle. So um, if you enjoyed it, make sure to like the channel, subscribe for more tutorials. Um, we're going to go more into the gaming aspect as well because I'm in love with Marvel Crisis Protocol right now. And I hope to see you back later. Thanks.